Hello, this is Dr. Bernstein of Dr. Bernstein's Diabetes University. Uh, today's subject is going to be diabetes and depression. Uh, I receive many uh, professional diabetes journals, and they're about, oh, I'd say 30 or 40 articles in each journal. I get them every month, so I probably see uh, several hundred articles per month and there are always every month several articles on diabetes and depression uh, documenting the very high depression scores amongst people with diabetes and <clears throat> there are studies constantly trying to correlate depression with race, with where in the world do you live, uh, with uh, other uh, things that uh, are not likely to really cause depression, uh, with uh, how old uh, you were when you developed diabetes, etc. About uh, 35 years ago, I conducted two studies at two universities. Uh, this was when I was an engineer before I became a physician. And these studies led to my wanting to be a physician because we couldn't uh, sell a medical profession on controlling blood sugars. And the, the purpose of the studies were to see if we could reverse diabetic complications with normal blood sugars. And indeed, we showed that we could. But when I was recruiting the patients, I had to go to physicians who were members of the New York chapter of the American Diabetes Association. And I had to talk them into donating their, what they considered were their worst patients, the patients with the most erratic blood sugars. Uh, and. Uh, those they considered the least cooperative. And uh, they told me, you're going to make them crazy, but I'm anxious to get rid of this patient, so we'll give them to you. <laughs> so here we had two university groups uh, working uh, with these hopeless patients. And I knew from my own feelings after I controlled my blood sugar, that uh, we had to document that uh, we're not going to drive them crazy. In fact, we're going to make them better. And we hired, we, we didn't pay them, but we recruited uh, a psychiatrist um, for, treating, for uh, studying one group and a psychologist for studying the other group and they both administered the Ca Hamilton Depression Score, which is a classic test for putting a number on the severity of depression. Now, uh, I bel as I recall, uh, under eight is no depression. Uh, I'm sorry, under six is no depression and over six is depressed. And in these groups, uh, we managed to be over 20 in both groups at the start of the study. At the ends of the study, two, two different studies, two different groups, we were under six for uh, uh, the people we were working with. So here we went from severely depressed to not depressed. And uh, one of the uh, psychiatric results got published in uh, a major journal. Uh, they published it without using my name because I was already uh, taking pre-med courses and had vanished. Um, and they merely showed the difference, that there was a big improvement. But they didn't interview the patients to, uh, or they didn't publish the interviews with the patients to explain why. I interviewed all of the patients and I got the same answer 
from each patient. They all said that my blood sugars were varying from uh, 20 to 800 every day. Uh, the highs and lows were hitting me at random. I didn't know where they were coming from. I had no control over this. I never knew what each day would have in store for me. I was walking a tightrope. And some people said they were walking uh, uh, over a knife edge. And almost every one of them used the same words to describe the conclusion. Now I'm captain of my own ship. I can make my blood sugar whatever I want it to be. I'm running the show. And that made sense. That was my personal experience because I was depressed, I felt I was living uh, in, in a prison. And when I first got the idea of uh, telling the world uh, about how to normalize blood sugar, remember I was the first, the only person measuring his own blood sugars with a blood sugar meter. I think we have one of them up here. This is, this is what I carried around with me in a shoulder bag. And I was the only one in the world doing this. And I was able to achieve normal blood sugars. Uh, of course, it only worked with a very low carbohydrate diet and I had to take multiple shots of insulin because I'm a type one diabetic. But I felt I had been, I had escaped from a prison and then I thought, gee, there are other people out there just like me, and they're, they have no chance. They're locked in. So I tried to per persuade the medical profession uh, that uh, everyone should be doing what I was doing. Uh, it was total failure. No one was interested. And uh, I ended up going to medical school so I could be published. But it all started with my being depressed and the depressed being raised by being put in charge of my own blood sugars. Now, this is described in detail in an article that I actually wrote uh, as re a required uh, article for our course in psychiatry when I was in medical school. And when they said, you have to write a paper to pass this course, I right away thought of this subject, uh, wrote the paper, and after I graduated and had a little time available, uh, I got the paper published. And we have a link that you can find below to this article, which was published in the Journal of the uh, Israel Psychiatric Association. And you can print it and uh, show it to people, and it's all there. So please take a look. and. Uh, try to understand that uh, controlling blood sugar, following a low carbohydrate diet, does not make you depressed. It does exactly the opposite. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you at the next uh, session of Diabetes University. Uh, before you sign off from this session of Diabetes University, take a look at my book, Diabetes Solution which uh, you can view at the site listed below or you can purchase from any online bookstore. Also, visit my monthly seminars, teleseminars. Uh, the site for getting these free seminars is listed below. Um, you can also uh, join the Diabetes Forum where you can ask questions to other diabetics who have read my book and have been using it. And one last thing is, if you go to the teleseminar, you can ask questions, which I will answer, uh, if not the same month that you asked the question, uh, within a month or two thereof. Thanks.